One of the things you have to do really frequently as a book publisher is resize images, um, and that's because cover designs uh, need to be a different size for lots of different purposes, um, so thumbnails on your website or larger images on your website. Um, and then online retailers have different requirements for um, different uh, different uh, book images, um, some of them that need to be 72 uh, dots per inch, others uh, need to ha have a maximum of 50 mil across or whatever. Um, so you want to have a quick and efficient way of making those changes to a lot of images at the same time. Um, and thankfully Photoshop has a facility for automating this process and it's a two-step process. First of all you create an action and then you create a droplet um, and apply the, the files to that droplet. So let me explain first of all what I mean by an action. If we go to the window menu and pull up the actions palette, um, we're going to create a new action by clicking on that and we'll call it resize image because today I just want to take some images and uh, resize them. And you've got the little record button going there and that means that um, every step that we, ma we make in Photoshop uh, is going to be recorded in this action. So let me show you what I mean. If I go to File and Open, uh, let's open up that image there. Um, and you can see that this palette has recorded uh, the open stage. Um, I'm going to go to Image, Image Size, and change it to 270 pixels across, which is what I want for, um, for purposes of this today. It's 270. Um, and OK that. And you can see that image size uh, has been recorded there. I'm also going to save and I'm also going to close this image down. And that's, that's the process that I want to have happen for every, every cover image that I have. Um, so I'm going to stop the action there. That's great. That's all saved and captured. And then I'm going to go to the file menu, click on automate and create droplet. Um, I want to save it to my desktop for reasons that I'll explain in a minute. Um, I'm going to, it's going to use the action that we've just created, the resize action. It's important that you have override action open commands uh, checked, otherwise this, uh, this droplet will just keep opening the, the, that specific image that we created in the first place. Um, and override act action save as commands as well. Um, because we specified in the action uh, that to, to save it in that in the same folder. Um, so we're going to OK that, and you'll see that uh, just here on the desktop, um, a little uh, icon has been created. That's my exe file. Let's now test this out. Um, let's take another image. Uh, let's take this one and drag it onto the the uh, exe file there. In fact, that happened so quickly, I couldn't show you. Let me try it again with another image. Um, and the image that I'll use, I'll find one that was amended in December last. Um, drag that on, and you'll see that in Photoshop, <laughs> it really quickly opened um, and shut again. Um, and if we uh, look, yep, you see that's updated right about now. Open up that file. And hopefully that should show, yeah, that it's 270 pixels. Now, this really comes into its own um, when you select a whole bunch of images in one go. Um, let me just select from there to there. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, drag all of these images in one go onto the droplet and then sit back and watch the computer doing our work for us. It's absolutely superb and I never get tired of seeing this. Um, seen the computer do a whole bunch of laborious work for me. Let's go back and see, you can see that all of these um, are now updated uh, with today's date because they've been resaved. And if we open a few of them, you can see that all of these are now 270 pixels across. Check this one. 270 pixels. Um, and so that's taken a job that would probably take about I don't know, an hour and a half. Um, and we can do it uh, in about a minute. So that's absolutely super.